everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Scary SMP. And today, I just want to say, I'm back. I'm back to YouTube. Fully, not just the shorts episode. Episodes. Because there's more than one. And I am excited to announce that... Actually, I'm not very happy to announce, but I'm back to school. I'm back to the coronavirus-restricted school. Which means I don't upload as often, and I don't do very much on the server. But that doesn't matter. I just fell into a hole. I'll be right back when I'm in first person. Boop. Okay, guys, I am back, and you might have realised I'm some of the because of gaming's base, and. This is where one of my shorts episodes started, which means I'm about to reveal another farm. Boom! That big dirt structure is a sugarcane farm. So now I have a bamboo farm, a sugarcane farm, and a village trading call. And also, I introduce my cat. It's panda, like my real life cat, but just without black spots. So yeah. This farm is very productive, but I did get it out before I started, so it does work. It's just a bit slower than usual. And also, in today's episode, I wanted to start selling things in my shop. Because I built it up a couple of ep episodes ago, but I never actually started to sell anything. So, what I was going to sell is... Mending books and I'm breaking three books because I have the villagers, maybe even protection five and stuff. But for now, we're gonna start with the mending and the breaking three and see if we get any sales. Really, let me just munch on some chicken. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'll be doing. I do have some emeralds, I'll need to craft up some books and then I'll be ready to. Oh, a bit, a bit of lag. Also, my recording might be a bit choppy because my internet connection today is a little bit off. So, I do apologise. Oh, you can tell it's a bit laggy. Okay, so I'll be back once I've got enough paper and my emeralds to trade. Um, guys, I'm back, and I'm not ready to do the stocking of my shop, but a creep blew up on me when I was crafting some books, and, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to fix this now. Perfect. A task on top of a task that I'm already was doing. Interesting. Okay, guys, I'll be right back once I've rebuilt the house. I've got enough leather and books and stuff to get ready to stock up my shop. Alright, guys, I'm back, and I am here at my shop. And what I used to do on the rebuilt, like, one of these shops at, what I do is I place a slab like this, a barrel like this, and a frame. I uh, can't place one here, the wall. I get an item frame, and I place, like, in the member room. Well, the thing that I'm going to be selling. But yeah. I think I might need to rename that one. But yeah. I'm going to put the unbreaking book in here. The unbreaking books, should I say. In there. And then the payment will go in here. Which means... I need to craft more barrels, that I've just realised. Um, up there, and then the mending book, I'm here. And if you can hear my TV in the background, I am sorry. <laughs> I just realised that I still have it on. Let me just mute that. I completely forgot about that, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm going to do the whole stocking stuff. 
off camera. And I still have one more thing I want to show you guys, so I'll be right back. So guys, the one thing I want to show you guys still, before I end the episode. Or maybe I'll do something else. Um, is something next to Skeletor Tux's base. If you haven't seen his last video, he titled it Armageddon. Because this, like, meteor, I think, like, popped up. Like, crashed down next to his base. I'm lagging. Crashed next to his base. And it has a secret message behind it that I've already worked out with him. And I'm just going to go over here to check it out. Because I haven't showed it on camera yet. Obviously, Skulter Tux has. Because he was the one to discover it at first. Oh, that might have been a spoiler. Um, I'm not going to... I'm just going to look down. And it is just over here. First, we need to wait for the chunks to load. <laughs> Today's video is a bit bad. Anyway, as you can see over there, it's my... Well, it's the meteor that crashed down. And there is a secret message behind it, so I'm just going to show you guys that. It says, say goodbye now. So if you read between the lines, it says, soon, right there. And then this one's just gibberish. Oh. And this one's fear not young. The R and the UN is run. And down. It says run down now. Run down soon. So I don't really know what is going on here. If the messages run down soon, where are you? Where are we supposed to run down? You know, it kind of messes with my brain a little bit. But yeah, that's all I wanted to show in his base. Also, comment down if you might know what it's on about, because I don't really know. What that does kind of resemble is the HTBBS from Hermitcraft. I guess that's like. I guess the Hermitcraft, like, I don't know, storyline has catched us a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to go back to my base. We might do some villager trading. Because, I don't know, I feel like doing that. Because we are just coming over the 8 minute mark. And I said this was going to be a normal long, like, like a normal length video so we're just, just gonna go do some villager trading actually instead of doing villager trading i'm gonna show you guys more of my story power the one thing that has happened is that i ran out of blocks to build the storage tower so i'll probably go mining at some point the stone with my silk touch pickaxe here and um yeah And if you're wondering why I'm at 33 levels, is because I died. I did have like 50 something levels. But my game lagged out and I got killed by a zombie, which is kind of embarrassing to be honest. Yeah. I'll show you guys the storage tower because I've changed up the floor design. At first it was just jungle wood. And now it's it's got a nice design to it. Alright, I'm just going to run over here. Dun, 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 dun. Dream music. Do, 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 do. So it's got like this warped. I can't remember what it's called to be honest. It is called warped wart block. So I've got these, and then I've got planks, and they're like a nice design. I haven't done it all the way to the top, which I'll be doing because I've been collecting some. So I've made a little farm outside, and I, this is what I've gathered. I don't know if it's going to be enough. And the reason for this design is because I've I've been trying to get all the floors done all the way to build height. But I've always been running out of jungle planks, so 
making this flow design, it just gives me more of these to build upwards. Also, I will be going mining a Y11 probably, just in case we might just find some diamonds. Just to finish the storage tower at some point. So yeah, we might as well do some more villager trading. Yep, we might as well. We're going to take out our silk touch pickaxe and just chop down some bamboo. Turn it into sticks and just trade with the villagers a bit. Because I'm going to need a lot more emeralds than I do have right now. So I'll get the mending books for like 24 emeralds a piece. And I think a, just a bit more for the unbreaking books. So it's not it's not the best trades, but they're better than skeletal tuxes, so you know, you gotta roll with what you've got. The lag is so annoying. And while we're here cut chopping down the damn bamboo, we'll be Basically letting the sugar cane grow, which is a good thing as well. And so yeah. Some bamboo and I'll be right back. Hello guys, I'm back. And I have chopped down some bamboo and I have crafted it into sticks so we can trade it with the Fletcher. I think this guy is the Fletcher. Pretty sure. Yep, there we are. And these trades aren't the best either. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? And actually, now that I think about it, we could just go... Maybe not with the jungle wood. We're just going to quickly go to the storage tower. Which has a lot of wood there. Mm -hmm. Which only takes like half of... Maybe not even half. I'll go and get some of that. Convert it into sticks and just sell to that villager. Also, yes, I do use my Riptide 3 Trident a lot. It's fun just flop, flopping around. Okay, so we're walking here. In this chest, we have a bunch of this stuff. So I'm going to take like, this stack here, convert it into sticks, and go sell it to that villager. Also, it is quite a pain to craft in Bedrock. Well, pocket edition at least. So it'd be nice if I could hire Skeletal Tux to do the crafting for me. But yeah, that's just an idea. I don't, he doesn't have to. But yeah, let's just hop back to the villager, tra villager trading call. Oh, that. Okay. There we go. Ow. Man, the internet is bad today. The lag is absolutely like over the top right now. Let's just, I don't even, don't, I don't even know if I'm running or not. All right, let me just come over to my villager. Where's my big man Fletcher? Come here. Hello. Yes, I want to trade with you, my friend. I'm going to be doing a lot of this trading off camera because it's quite a repetitive, boring task, really. And yeah, let's just hop over the house and read our to do list. And let's see what we've done and what we've accomplished. Right, so. Shop. The shop has been completed. Storage tower. Well, it's sort of completed. It's not at Y256 yet, but it's getting there. Mob spawner, not even attempted yet, because I'm still thinking of a design for it. Start mega base, also not very started, but we might start in the next episode. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, I'll be back when I'm in third person to do the intro. Today's incredibly laggy video. And if you did enjoy, smash like and subscribe. That would be great.
created. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.